Google released the Android 16 QPR1 beta tree, guys. And I have the phone here. Installed it, and I'm going to show you what is new. And in the meantime, you can enjoy this beautiful scenery here. So, let's get started. So, guys, I installed this on my Pixel 9 Pro XL. And, by the way, it's running over something like two days. And it's not an issue at all in terms of battery and performance. Uh, I think it's quite stable. So, more it's about the Android 16 platform because I do believe it's important. So the QPR1 Beta 3 has been released a couple of days ago. And this is the one including July 2025, so all the patches. So you can install this on your Pixel 6, 6a, 6 Pro, 7, and etc. And of course, you can get this also on the 9 series as well. Now, some of the main things that apparently has been fixed because it's a lot of bug fixing. And according to Google, a lot of the top issues on the previous beta 2.1 are fixed, such as uh, the RTOS touchless corruption, the launch not completely displaying, some um, display issues with notifications, and also the media player notification pulled on fails to full display and function, full phone restart due to class loader issues, kernel issue causing restarts, camera non-functional and startup with black screen, status bar icon missing and notification shade message folding break. So you can see a lot of these things are not some quality of life improvement. There are some things that of course you're not able to just see you know, with your own eyes, but imagine your phone in your hands, you open the camera, yeah, get a black screen, yeah. This thing should not happen anymore. And now, guys, there are not really a lot of new things inside, but let me show you the first major thing that you're gonna see when you go inside your phone on the always on display. You're gonna see here that they've redesigned again the at a glance widget. And now we have a colorful one instead of the previous version, which was a bit more dull and it was actually not that bad. I kind of liked that one. So the sun was not like a sun icon. It was just, you know, a plain white icon. So right now I would say <laughs> they're going back. So I'm not sure if people will like this or not. And guys, I'm filming this video with one hand. So you have to bear with me because it's not so easy because I have to record this while I'm on my vacation, but nevertheless, I wanted to do this video for you. So right now, guys, not only on the always on display, but also when you enter your phone, whoops, yeah, dangerous while filming in the nature, you're gonna get this icon. This was the icon also that we used in previous version. I'm putting my phone here. I'm not sure if that's overall a good idea. Maybe I get some scratches. Uh, nevertheless, guys, I am not inside my home studio, so this is what happens. So, the other thing, guys, that I do believe uh, is equally important, when you go around the uh, settings inside the quick settings and the menu, you're going to see that they've changed the spacing, which means that now Google are able to fit more settings uh, on your screen. It looks a bit more condensed to how it used to be. Honestly, I'm a better fan of this because I'm able to get just more stuff directly here. And they've changed also some other things around. Now, when you go and you open the battery, some people complaining in the previous QPR beta that apparently the battery health here was showed as unsupported. This was the case also with my Pixel now. Luckily, the battery health is back. So you can check your battery capacity. There are some uh, tips for battery health tips. You know how to update the latest software, turn on adaptive charging. You get charging optimization. So we have adaptive and limit. So all these things are still there. Then you get also battery health assistance. So the battery health is back. And we're not sure if Google are going to keep this in the next versions, but for now we can enjoy this. Another thing that I spotted, some change of the animation, specifically for widgets. When you open the widget, guys, I think this is a bit different, kind of quicker, expanding to the screen compared to the previous beta. And also something that I believe is very important because a lot of these things are just internal bug fixes that, again, you cannot see with your own eyes. But if your phone crashes, of course, in your hands, you're not going to be happy. So... Now probably you can expect fewer crashes. Something that in change as well is uh, things about and around the material tree dynamic teaming. So right now, guys, let's see what's going to happen. If I go here and I checked the team icons, you can see that now this thing is also going to get teamed. And I can show this to you as well. So you're also able to change all kind of colors. And this is going to be actually reflected here as well. This wasn't the case before. So now if I want to team all my icons or change the icon colors, you know, the Google search here... Um, and borrow is also going to get them. There are some minor tricks as well in case uh, you want to go and get the full story. 
for example when you try to play a song here and you open your volume rocker when you do something like this guys you're gonna see that this thing here in the previous version right the phone icon was on the left now they move it to the right so again this is those are some very small nitty gritty things but what they're trying to do is actually they're trying to push more and more material design some slight tweaks on the animations and of course there are other things as well such as the magnifier this is one thing that was not supported in the previous version you need to scroll down to the accessibility and now when you enter the magnifier guys there's going to be an option for you to use the magnifier also on the keyboard which is not looking great by the way i don't use this so much it's here so magnification shortcut magnify keyboard this thing wasn't there all right so let me just try to activate it Okay, so I'm going to now, let's say, open something here to write. And if I click on the shortcut, and right now you're able also to magnify your keyboard. Yeah, you know, it's probably good for people that uh, want to use it. I'm not a uh, person yet that I need magnifier. And honestly, guys, it's very, very hard to navigate with one hand. But nevertheless, I wanted to do this video. All right. So what I'm saying is, guys, the Android 16 experience now with my Pixel 9 Pro XL is getting better and better. Have in mind that the first official phones with Android 16 are actually the Samsung Fold 7 and the Flip 7. And besides this, guys, it's pretty stable. I don't have any issues now. I didn't also experience the issues with the previous QPR 2.1 and I like this black camera thing or everything else. So it has been really pretty stable for me and honestly it's a pure joy to use the pixel 9 pro xl with the pixel ui a lot of people think hey you know what this is like stock android no it's not stock android guys it's not vanilla we still have uh, now the pixel ui on top overall these are the new things besides some few small design changes and some areas uh, where for example they change some fonts you can probably show this as well let me try to navigate here uh, inside the settings if you scroll down to the volume settings i do believe that there is also a change inside I'm just try to find it sound and vibration in the previous version here all this thing was using some bold phones and I do believe they kind of also redesigned the dolls a bit uh, but they're trying to put more and more material design uh, language across all the UI elements some sadly some of the menus here were also redesigned like they're putting some menus around other menus uh, i don't think it's really worth mentioning that much it's like internal housekeeping and reorganization but what we can clearly see is that they're pushing for the material expressive design almost everywhere slight tweak on the animations guys and there should be also some new features for the pixel desktop it should allow you to pin stuff on your desktop if you're using this phone like that but hey guys this has been a very quick video here Shooting with one hand, not the best, but hey, it's tough, right? But still, Pixel 9 Pro XL, Android 16 QPR, better 3. Stay safe, guys.